disassemble a uh, eight millimeter wolf yarn watchmaker's lathe. I've really oiled it up well, so uh, because of all the gunk that gets between the spindle and the um, and the comb bearings, it it makes it pretty hard to get out. So first of all, undo the rubs that are holding the pulley onto the spindle here. So four of them I've already taken out, and that um, that, uh, that needed a bit of uh, pushing backwards and forwards to free it up. Next, take this uh, locking nut off. Sometimes you'll have one or two. It's got a split in here, and it's usually points around about 0.275 of an inch times 40. TPI. Um, sometimes they've been pulled apart, pushed together, gone off, off um, they get twisted around a little bit so uh, it can screw them up a little bit. Um, this one's really easy to go back on and come back off so that's not a problem. Take that off. Um, on here you've got a keyway, let me see if I can show you there you go that keyway there on this collar that fits down over the comb bearing there's a locator pin you have to make sure when you put it back together that that marries up otherwise you'll just strip all that thread right so it's just a matter of giving the spindle enough room um, make sure it is flat against the uh, device bring up that pulley out of the way because if you smack it and that pulley ends up hitting down on the frame it could very well just shatter it. Um, you can put a piece of wood in there between the pulley and the frame to be on the safe side. I tend to just hold it in place anyway um, and it's just a matter of smacking it down. Ah there you go, here it just went you can see it's just starting to come out now. Okay, let's put it back on there. This is oh, starting to come. said keep hold of that pulley you don't want that as you hit down on there going crack against that frame on that corner because you'll you'll smash it up okay that's a little bit there you go there comes the spindle there's the pulley. And yeah, there's the other part there. Remember, when you put it back together, you see the little locator pin. Where is it? Yeah, just catch it on the side there. Anyway. That lines up with that keyway. Don't forget to do that. You'll know. You'll know if it's not when you start to put it on. And that's how you disassemble it.